We are in Paris, standing in line at the catacombs, an underground labyrinth filled with bones. And as you can see, we are number one. No line, but it doesn't open yet. It opens in like a half an hour and we came. Oh, it opens in an hour and 15 minutes. We came yesterday and it was a three hour wait. And the guy told us it's always a three hour wait. Unless you come early, so we came early. Do you want to say anything? No. Okay. Right, we are walking in the catacombs. Can't see much on this video, but basically what we're dealing with is bricky type stuff like this. And so far we have not seen any skulls or bones. We're just walking and walking and walking. Dead. And we're number one, so it's kind of sketchy because no one else is around us. And Sarah's got cold legs. And a bunk knee. Okay, we're coming up to something. A curve. Oh, it's just a curve. So, here we are. This is the curve. Oh, more walking. Okay, we finally made it into the catacombs. And it's pretty creepy. There's just stacks and stacks of what look to be femurs and other bones. And then skulls uh, interlaced in between them. The, the lighting's pretty low, but... Uh, this is basically what we're dealing with. Just bones stacked everywhere and at the it looks very neatly stacked but then at the top it looks like some guy just stopped carrying just threw the bones up top and uh, a lot of the, we're down here by ourselves so it's pretty sketchy. Here comes Sarah and a lot of the bones are uh, you know what I forgot what I was gonna say anyway. All right, so here's the catacombs. This is basically a, a spot where it's a lot of light. Uh, so just show you the bones stacked up on top of each other and a bunch of femurs. Uh, a lot of the skulls have fractures in them, which could be blood force trauma, or it could have happened after the fact, post post mortem. Right? Yeah. All right, we just finished the catacomb tour. Now we're on our way up, and it's this windy dis er, ascent. Makes you dizzy. Hopefully, it come show up on camera. Probably, probably right. anyway. We just did the catacombs. Tons of bones and skulls stacked on each other, and uh, long tunnels. And we're out of breath because at the end there's this windy staircase that's about 84 steps. 84 steps. But their steps are like this big. The steps are puny, and it's just no, not puny. They're big. They're well, they're they no, just yeah. wind and wind and wind and wind, and you can't see ahead of you because ahead of you is another round step and it just goes on like that for 84 steps and you feel like you're in hell and you get dizzy and exhausted and now we made it outside we got our sunnies on and we're on to the next thing All right. What begins with an A and ends with asphyxia? Me, Crev one, the microphone cripple, a life on the edge of the walking dead. You either talk in black or you speak in red. I can't help you if you don't have the language down. It's either sink or swim and the average drown. Some of us stay afloat and respect the wave. With your mouth full of sand, burned by sun rays. Five ways to Sunday, a fist full of dollars, a barrel full of commerce, blast in the summer. We always stand guard over the late shift, the cause and effect of the light and the mist. In the world of mixed tape, and other sick breaks I spit like my life depends on what I make Work a late night, not that we hate light Just feels right, that's when tracks come out tight Thoughts start creeping, people are sleeping Pull words out of their dreams, it's the deep end It's the deep end, people are sleeping Pull words out of their dreams, it's the deep end 